Hi, my name is Juan, and today we're going to be talking about Boolean operators. Boolean operators allows us to string along multiple conditions when we want to make a bit more complex logic. So typically with an if statement, if we want to check the value of a certain variable, we'd check if x is equal to 7, for example. That'd be one condition. But if we wanted to string along multiple conditions, we'd use Boolean operators for that one if statement. So the three basic um, Boolean operators in C++ are basically AND, OR, and NOT. So AND and OR take two conditions, and we can evaluate um, both of those conditions with an AND. And same thing for OR. NOT actually takes one condition, and whatever that condition evaluates to, the NOT will flip it. And so in order for us to get some experience with it, we're going to write a program that simulates a login system. So if we make a string user for the username, string password for the password, and then let's make a Boolean variable for the login. So let's write, and if, let's write some input and output. So see how enter a user line and then take in their input and then we can say see out enter a password and then get their input for that Oop, little spelling error so now we have their input from the user right so now we want to make sure um, we want to check if what they entered for these two values is correct so we can start off by using the AND operator to make sure that both the user and the password is correct. So then typically, if we were to write this without Boolean operators, we'd write something along the lines of if user is equal to, let's say, Juan, we'd, then we'd check again if user is equal to, oh, my mistake, if password is equal to secret, then we'd say login is equal to true which means our login was true because both if both of these evaluate to true we'd make it to this statement where we change our login value to true that's without boolean operators but if we were to use the and we can take out this condition add in our and and now we can take out this if condition and now this kind of simplifies our code while also adding on a bit more complexity to our logic. So now this if statement is saying if the user is equal to one and the password is also our um, secret, then we will do whatever this if statement says, right? So with the and operator, both statements have to be true in order for the entire thing to be true. So in order for us to test this real quick, we will just see out our login value. Let's run it. And so it says entry user, we put one, enter a password, we put secret, and we see out our login value and it's one. So that means it's true. So this ran successfully. But if we were to write one, but then put in a bogus password, we see that login is zero. So login didn't get changed to true at all. It's a thing, it's important to note that we'd have to set it to false with an initial value, but for right now, we're not going to do that. But anyways, let's write a little bit more to our program that tells us if one of the things we entered was wrong. So that's where we're going to use the OR operator. So if we do if user is equal to Juan OR password is equal to secret, Then we can say see out use or one of the things entered is incorrect. And then we can say login equal false because we don't want them to log in if one of the things isn't correct. So now if we run this and if we put Juan but another bogus password, it'll tell us one of the things we entered is incorrect because with or statements, only one of the things have to be true in order for it to be evaluated all as true. 
Okay. And the same thing would happen vice versa if we were to put in like mark, but we put in secret. One of the things entered is incorrect. And so now let's write another else statement just for if they enter nothing in completely right. And we can just say login equals false. So let's do something with our login value. So this is where we're going to use our not operator. Here we can say if not login. So this is basically going to be if the login is true, this true will be flipped into a false, right? And so we can say this can be our condition for if the login has failed, we can say login failed. And then end line. And then we can just write our else statement. See out login successful. And so let's try it out. We enter a user. Let's say we enter Juan in secret. Login successful. So what happens is that we evaluate it with the end and we change our thing to true. And then we get down to here. The first thing it'll hit is this if statement. So if login, if not login. So if the login is true, which in this case it was, this true becomes true not true becomes false. So then this statement doesn't get ran and it hits the else statement. So that's one of the things you can do with a not is basically use it to flip something, flip a condition that you have in your program. And so one thing to note is that with the and and or operators, they're not limited to just these two. You can actually string along like and condition and condition and so on. But when you start doing that, then you have to also take a note of it starts evaluating from left to right. So it'll first evaluate these two and then whatever it evaluates to. So if it's true, then it'll end up saying this is true and then it'll evaluate that plus the next one and then so on and so on. So that's something to keep a note of. It also happens with or the same thing with or. And so that's pretty much the basics of using Boolean operators. You can string them along. You can have ands and ors and nots in one statement. You just need to make sure it's exactly what you want for your program. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helped. Thank you.